who knew I would make it this far, they hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I'm making it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say, I got him picking up the pieces. Gotta me, you really playing with your life, I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back, you ain't fitting for it, cause you all cap like. So we're in Plymouth, Nigel. Where where are we going? Where are we heading at the moment? Um, we're just driving next to the water, basically, really. Not really going anywhere yet. How are you enjoying Plymouth? What's life like down here? It's beautiful. It's nice and quiet, playing a lot of games, and just, yeah, enjoying myself with my team and all the people around me. It's just really nice out here because it's right next to the beach. You can just go from the walks. It's like, the views you get are really nice, so. What is it like when you sort of go out on on loan spells and having to like move across the country at such short notice, you know, you might find out with a couple of days notice where you're gonna be going out to and is that quite is that quite daunting? Is it something you've got used to now as a player? Um, yeah, I've got used to it because I did it last year as well, really last minute. Back, yeah, but that was back to Holland, but this time went to the other side of the country, actually. When I went back home, I had my parents and they could help me out with stuff, but now it was just that me sorting stuff out and like, I got to help me really well with it, so I don't mind moving because I like to see other places and yeah, I'm just enjoying it and playing football. Well, credit to our scouting department as ever at those youth levels. They're always looking worldwide for the best talent available. In different circumstances, players can become available for many different reasons. I identified Nigel as being a potential target uh, and were able to do the deal with PSV. Really as simple as that came over, obviously pre-Brexit when that sort of recruitment could take place. Uh, and that's how he ends up joining our system. He is good on the ball, um, he sees a pass. Like him to be tidier with his passing and his decision making. Can be a little bit sloppy at times um, with some of his execution, but he's brave and he's strong. He's very good aerially. His uh, aerial battle stats were very good last year in Eredivisie. Divisie. Very eager to learn, very eager, very self-aware as well. Um, happy to criticise his own performances, no delusions from his perspective as to how he's played. He's very quick, he's got a bit of that Dutch calmness on the ball. Um, so if he can mix the two, the best of the British with the best of the Dutch, he's uh, got a really good chance to be a top player. How did the move for, for Nigel to come here from the Wolves Academy on loan, how did that move come about? So uh, Matt Jackson and myself are good friends from Everton, our Everton days together. Uh, and we have a regular dialogue about all the Wolves players really that possibly could be attractive to Argyle uh, and he mentioned Nigel. Uh, we then did our uh, due diligence, uh, watched some videos, did some research about his character and it, it was a no-brainer really. Having been at Fortuna Sittard last year and had that Eredivisie exposure as a young centre-back was excellent for him, puts him well ahead of the curve for players of his age group throughout the world really. Um, and certainly throughout Europe in those top leagues. Talked about him needing some English league exposure, the type of environment that would be good for him. Obviously, we try and filter the type of club that the players go to. Thought Plymouth was going to be an excellent opportunity for him in terms of the size of the club. I've got good personal contacts with staff down there. I know the coaching culture, so it's a really good fit. As well as it being a good experience for Wolves, obviously, it has to be a good experience for us. So we don't just take young players because we're doing Matt Jackson or whoever a favour. It's got to be good for Plymouth Argyle and that fit has been very good so far. The education for those young players, we want them to have different experiences. I mean, great crowds down there, so you have that big club pressure at Plymouth, which is great. He has to go and prove himself. He was certainly not going there with any guarantees of playing, but his form and, and his ability have got him in the team and he's getting a great experience. Do you feel settled in now? Does it feel like home here? Um, it does, because like, we've got a really good group of players. Everyone gets along really well. We've got a mixture of like, young people and all that, older people. And I think it's like, a really good team. Everyone gets along, so yeah, I'm settled in. Nigel has settled in uh, really, really well. Uh, he's playing some uh, really good football, which I guess is the most important thing of all. But he seems to have got himself attached to four or five other similar age young players that we have here at Argyle and they seem to be having a great time on and off the field. Do you ever get like recognised and stopped out and about in Plymouth? Um, yeah we do, like, if we go out with all the boys just for some food we always get recognised and 
because it's only like Plymouth is really the only club around here, so like everyone supports and watches Plymouth all the time. So, if it's something nice, I just accept it. Talking about your sort of experience so far this season at Plymouth Argyle, um, this is your first experience playing in the EFL. How have you have you found it? What's it like? Um, different than what I did last year, but I'm really enjoying it, and I think I'm getting that. Like, got used to it really well yeah. and yeah that that's because I've been playing a lot of games and just as a team we've been, we've been doing really well so how are you finding that your time with Plymouth Argyle at the moment is comparing to your loan last year um, I think the difference is last year I came I think I've played more games from coming on the pitch like on, from the bench coming yeah, on okay. and the situation was that we were more fighting to stay in the league mm -hmm. instead of this year, we're, I'm playing a lot, starting a lot of games, and we're fighting to promote and get up in the championship. He's played uh, without kind of checking the data, but and he, he certainly played lots and lots of minutes. He's contributed in most games. I think uh, we've exceeded Wolves' expectations in terms of playing time. Uh, I'm sure we've not exceeded Wolves' uh, expectations in terms of performance. Yeah, I think he, he looks like he can play anywhere across the, across the back three. You know, he's you know. It's good with either foot. Yeah, I think he settled in very well. Yeah, I think uh, they've taken him quite well. Like the first few games, he was a bit unsteady, but then eventually he's got into a groove of it, got more consistent. Fans are liking him. They've got a few songs going on about him and whatever. Yeah, so we've taken him quite well. Yeah. Oh, he's been a very good addition to the squad because we've got a good, we've got a good back, you know, choice for back three yeah. players, of established players and and the loan player uh, signing of Nigel. He's right in the forefront of the manager's mind to start each game. You know what I mean, it's coming to the club like this here, he's, he's probably picked up quite a lot. I mean, and obviously with our managerial team now, which is the best managerial team we've had for a, a good fair few years, we've got yeah. on this. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, he's he de he definitely fitting in very well. Would you say that you're sort of pleased with your performances so far this season? You still got sort of bits you want to work on, or? Um. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with it, but I can always like you can always get better and yeah. just the little details. So there's always that room for improvement. Yeah, players have to learn. You know, they have to learn, and that's exacerbated in pressure situations. So that focus will be on him. He's been left out a couple of times. He's had a couple of minor injuries to deal with. He's now looking at a 46-game league program plus cup games. You have to manage your own personal performances over that long period of time as well to make sure you're ready for every single game so he's learning the responsibility of being a professional footballer learning how important routine can be for that uh, and actually how tough it is to be uh, a professional footballer it, it looks glamorous lifestyle it is in many ways but you go through a full season for a Plymouth Argyle in a promotion push you'll certainly be ready for a rest at the end of it particularly when you're a 19 year old. Growing up were there any sort of Footballers that you you looked up to that inspired you that you know that you'd like to be as big as them one day. Um, I think when I was really young, obviously my brother was a bit older, so I looked up to him. I was at the same club with my brother, so we just did everything together, travelled together. Did everything. So since I was young, I was just always looking at him, him playing football, and like when I moved, like when I played for PSV, all the all the players at PSV, I was always like, oh, I'll try and be like them, and I. I think now I just look up to Van Dyke. Well, he likes to think he's Van Dyke and he likes to think he could look like Van Dyke, but certainly he has some of those qualities. He has a great physicality. Junior model of Virgil Van Dyke, we call this. <laughs> Obviously, the, the, with the ponytail and the, the facial hair, I mean, that goes down quite well. Virgil van Dyke. I like his style of playing and the way he moves with the ball, without the ball. So, yeah, I try and pick up little things from him. Have you studied him quite a lot as a player? When I watch Liverpool, I just, yeah, I, I look at him, yeah. yeah. And it's not like I'm really studying to be like him because yeah. I'm still trying to be my own person. I think it's like every boy that plays football wants to get at the top and play international and play for the big teams and just do everything, so yeah. We've had interesting conversations with Nigel as we do with all our players ongoing uh, throughout the course of a season. We're talking with clubs worldwide about their specific needs, what they understand about the development of our players, who we think can help them and what they're looking for to help uh, to help themselves. We obviously have a relationship with Grasshoppers as well, so continually monitoring 
that situation. So yeah, opportunities will be available at any given time for players. Our players have to go out window to window loans only. So the action times are obviously January and then through the summer period for us. But it is a 12 month model of, of monitoring them and certainly helping their development. And ultimately, we want them to be Wolves players. When you made the move or the, the loan to Plymouth this year, you also signed a new contract with Wolves until 2025. Do you have maybe shorter term or like aspirations in the next few years? You said you'd like to get into the Wolves first team. Like what are you sort of in these next few years hoping to achieve with, with Wolves? Um, I'll, I just see it like season to season. Like every season I'll come back to Wolves for pre-season and I'm just try and show myself and hope to get that kind of picked to be more around the first team and I get my chances and if I get my chances I'll try and take them.